Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Got another job here today. Uh, people have asked lately about how I set some of these things up, so I'm gonna go into a little bit of that. The majority of the time has already been spent here and doing the setup, so I'm just gonna show you the details of it, not the actual process, because the setup is probably four times of most of these jobs. Uh, the actual boring and cutting the metal part of it uh, typically only takes a short period of time compared to setting it all up. But if you don't set it up right, then the job's not going to come out right. So it's also kind of the most important part of it. On this particular job, I got two holes here to fix, which are supposed to be in line with one another. Uh, in this case, they don't go all the way through, so it's a blind hole. So I have chosen to do this operation on the rotary table with the idea that I'll do this hole, rotate it 360 degrees, do the other hole, and if I'm centered here to begin with on the axis of the table, which I believe that I'm as good as I can get it probably within 20,000 some will say in this case based off of the original holes that are not oval or round anymore so it's somewhat of a guess on that to begin with then uh, when I flip this around and bore the other side it should be in line and I do have the piece that bolts on here so once I'm done I can verify that indeed that was the case and then I got them correct and then I don't have to go in and modify anything, do any precision honing or anything to make it come out like it needs to to make it right. So let's take a look. So as per my standard procedure with uh, castings, I kind of base things up as close as I can off of the slots on the mill or in this case rotary table so the casting is back against the studs which are in the slots the same positions on both sides so that should have this way pretty good at least within the tolerance of how good their thickness is of their axle casting uh, given that that's over a couple of you know it's a 36 inch distance there uh, the air here is pretty small and again it, it's uh, not that important because if a farm tractor is out 20 thousandths on the actual positions uh, no one's ever going to know and it's uh, likely as good or better than they had it from the factory in the first place because same deal it doesn't really matter that how close it is a lot of most of your automobiles are not within that close of a tolerance on their alignment then uh, I use a height gauge to uh, set up so I've got it to where it's in the bore good and then I can take it translate it to the other side and do the same thing come over here and it's right there on the edge of the bore. So I know the tip this way is correct. Again, uh, that bore is not really something that you could sweep to uh, determine its position. So I'm going off of the side that isn't worn to determine where it should be to fix the side that is worn. So now that this way and this way is established, the only thing left is to make sure that the pin axis is on the table axis. So first step to that is to 
align the height gauge with the slots in the rotary table. So that looks pretty good. And it looks pretty centered on the bore as far as that goes. So we'll assume I got that part right. So the next step is come in here with my center finder on the pin in the rotary table, which is the center of the rotary table. And tip this till we're level. Right about there. It's hard to do one-handed. So we'll stay right there. And look at that bore. And it looks like we're right on line on that. Do the same check on the other side. And it checks out good. So the next thing to do is to move this over and get the spindle of the mill on the center line of the rotary table. Check that the rotary table is on zero degrees. I'm occasionally asked how I sweep bores, and uh, this is my tool of choice to do it with. It works kind of like a coax, but it's really just a straight indicator with a lever on it. And it's on a V groove so I can move this in or out, and I can make it internal or external. And this covers up to about a seven inch bore. Uh, if it's bigger than that, I have to do something else, but this gets most of the work I do.
part, uh, that's the boring part, I guess. And I go up to the monarch and turn two bushings to put in this thing. And I'll finish size that one. This one I'll leave rough because I've got that 100,000 offset I gotta go back and deal with. So I'll get it drove in here, raise the head back up 100, uh, bore it out, and then fit the pin. We'll see if this all lines up like it's supposed to. I think it should. It looks pretty good so far. So I hope you've enjoyed getting to see this much, and we'll finish it up next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later.